it is very difficult to define what electric charge is. Electric comes from the word electron, means amber. Electric charge is the characteristic developing particle of material due to which it exerts force on the other particles. The existence of charges were known when charged particles were produced by rubbing of suitable materials. The SI unit of charge is Coulomb. In SI units, the current is a fundamental quantity having a unit of ampere. The unit of charge is defined in terms of the unit of current. Thus, one column is the charge transferred in one second across the section of a wire carrying a current of one ampere. Electric charge is the basic property of matter, occurs in discrete natural units, and is neither created nor destroyed. One column is consists of 6.24 times 10 raised to 18 natural units of electric charge. Similar charges repel each other. And opposite charges attract each other. So now, we're done discussing about the concept of electric charge. Let's talk about electrostatics. Electrostatics is also called static electricity or the study of charges at rest. There are scientists that discovered and explained the concept of electrostatics. In 600 BC, Thales of Meletus discovered the static electricity. In 15th century, Sir William Gilbert conducted systematic study of static electricity and reported his findings in his book, De Magneto. Charles Coulomb also performed the quantitative investigations of electric forces with use of torsion balance which he invented. He demonstrated the electric force varies inversely with the square of the distance between charges. According to the Coulomb's law, the force exerted by two charged objects on one another is proportional to the product. The formula for Coulomb's law is Electric force is equal to the constant of proportionality k times to the magnitude of the charge q1 times q2 over the square of the distance of the two charges, where k is equal to the 9 times 10 raised to 9 newton times meter squared over the square of column. Electrostatics, as the name implies, is the study of stationary electric charges. A rod of plastic rubbed with fur or a rod of glass rubbed with silk will attract small pieces of paper and is said to be electrically charged. The charge on plastic rubbed with fur is defined as negative, and the charge on glass rubbed with silk is defined as positive. A conductor is a material through which electric charges can easily flow. An insulator is a material through which electric charges do not move easily, if at all. An electroscope is a simple device used to indicate the existence of charge.